Hello, everyone. You're listening to Cheese, a photography podcast. I am your host, Jose Betancourt. And as it stands, we are currently in some trying times. There's a worldwide epidemic that is putting people in uncertain situations. And what I mean by that, people are out of work. People can't afford health care. Children are forced to stay home. And parents need to work. And also, because these kids have to stay home, some families cannot afford to feed these children during normal school hours. So, believe it or not, there are so many kids who depend on breakfast and lunch that is provided from the school system. Now, as a photographer, and selfishly so, It has been quite an adjustment. It's hard to go outside. Everyone is telling you to stay inside. Don't risk getting infected. And even if you are in good health, you can get someone else sick. So be smart. Be considerate. And if you're hoarding bread or toilet paper or any of the essentials that everyone else needs, please think twice. Be considerate. This is the time that you need to be as human as possible because we all need to pull through together. There's no room to be selfish. I literally went to several of the bigger department stores in New York City, one being Target, and there was no bread. There was no toilet paper. Milk was gone. And there was actually an elderly woman who was complaining about this. And I told her, look, stay safe out there. And the one thing she said was, I'm safe. I have God by my side. Now, I'm not a super religious man. I'm not going to preach any type of religion to anyone. When it comes to politics and religion, I keep out of it. But just the fact that here's an elderly woman who is looking for bread And she's carrying, uh, actually, she was pushing a shopping cart and the shopping cart from Target. So, because we can't use plastic, plastic bags either. So, she's obviously doing all this on her own. So, I don't know if she lives by herself. And let's say she does have an older son, an older daughter, brothers, sisters. People can't even go around and help each other. Everyone's told to stay indoors. So she was really frustrated. And me being a helpful neighbor, I talked, I talked to her for a little bit. And she was overall in a good mood. And she was, it was a, there were a few of us actually talking amongst each other. And we all agreed that people should not be greedy at this moment in time. It's really frustrating to see. I plan to do more episodes per day since I'm home. You know, I might as well take advantage of it. And what I'll do is basically journal what I'm currently doing in photography during this lockout. And quite frankly, it's not a lot. (laughs) So it's going to be challenging to find something to talk about. But I'll continue sharing my past experiences in photography. And there's plenty of information to share with you in, in that regards. I'm trying to get the rest of the guys together, everyone is currently going through their own thing. So trying to get everyone in the podcast is not the top priority. And there's no better time than now to listen to some podcasts. So whatever I can do to contribute in that effort, I'm going to do. Even if you have questions regarding how to start a podcast, how to record a podcast, so on and so on. If you're interested in getting into podcasting, now is the time. Now is is a good time to get into YouTube, get into podcasting, maybe start a blog, because everyone has a story to share. Everyone has an interesting history, especially in photography. And basically, in today's times, uh, just sharing any type of story with a total stranger is going to help a lot of people. It really will. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. 
this audio is also going to be on YouTube. So feel free to leave me any comments, any questions regarding podcasting or getting into YouTube. I'd be more than happy to share. So until next time, I am Jose Betancourt. Talk to you soon.